This episode is quite maths heavy. What I've tried to do is provide you with a method where you get into the habit of just sticking the correct numbers in the calculator, no matter how easy it seems. It will help you a lot in the long run, particularly in physics. You might get a question in your exam that shows you a picture of a cell and it asks you to work out how many times bigger the picture is compared to the actual size of the cell. Or it can ask you how small the actual cell is compared to the image if it has been magnified by X amount. This video will cover the techniques required to answer these types of questions. Here we have a picture of a cell and the question asks us to measure the diameter. Then it wants us to calculate how much bigger the drawing is compared to the actual size of the cell. And note, it provides us with the actual size of the cell as 10 micrometers. Before we do anything with our ruler, I want to stress the importance of checking our units of measurement because we can run into problems if we overlook them. For example, if a rat is 0.3 meters long and a shark is 300 centimeters long, we can't just say 300 centimeters divided by 0.3 meters, which equals a thousand, because this is telling us that the shark is 1000 times longer than the rat. This would be wrong. 1,000 rats lined up would overshoot the length of the shark by quite a bit, by 297 meters to be precise. Always do a unit conversion first. I prefer always changing everything into meters. It is a good practice because the unit prefix, centi, milli, micro, etc., represents a meter times 10 to the power of something. For example, for a centimeter, it is times 10 to the negative 2. For a millimeter, it is times 10 to the negative 3. And times 10 to the negative 6 for a micrometer, and so on. So the rat stays at 0.3 meters. But the shark is really 300 times 10 to the negative 2 meters. I know most of you can just convert 300 centimeters into meters with ease. But it is a good habit because you won't find it easy converting megameters into meters, etc. Remember, the centi before meter means to the power negative 2. So we get 300 times 10 to the negative 2 divided by 0 0.3 meters, which is 10. So the shark is only 10 times longer than the rat. Now don't worry if you are not sure when to divide or multiply. I have a trick for that. Now back to our original question, we look at the units it wants the ruler measurement in. It is in millimetres. We measure the drawing and it is 40 millimetres across. Now it asks us how many times bigger the drawing compared to the actual size of the cell, which is only 10 micrometres across. So we first convert our units so they are all in metres. So 40 millimetres is written as 40 times 10 to the negative 3 metres and 10 micrometers is written as 10 times 10 to the negative six. Now, how do we know what goes on top and what goes on the bottom when we're dividing? Here is an equation triangle. The letters in the triangle represent the following. M stands for the magnification or how many times bigger. The I stands for image size and the A stands for actual size. So we want to find out M. So we cover the M and we have I on the numerator on the top and A as the denominator at the bottom. So image size divided by actual size. So 40 times 10 to the negative three meters divided by 10 times 10 to the negative six meters, which equals 4,000. So the image is 4,000 times bigger than the actual size of the cell. Let's do another example. We are given another drawing of a cell and the question gives us the actual size of the cell. It asks us to measure the cell in millimetres again and then work out how much bigger the drawing is compared to the actual size of the cell. So it's the same as before. It gives the actual size of the cell as 50 micrometres in the question. We measure the picture of the cell and we find it is 50 millimetres across. Now we need to convert our units into metres. So the drawing is 50 millimetres, which is 50 times 10 to the negative 3 metres. And the actual size of the cell is 50 micrometers, which is 50 times 10 to the negative 6 meters. Then we use our equation triangle. We cover the M and find we need to use image size divided by actual size. So 50 times 10 to the negative 3 divided by 50 times 10 to the negative 6. We get an answer of 1000. 
so the drawing is 1,000 times bigger than the actual size of the cell. A final example, we have an image which we need to measure the diameter of. This is an image of a blood vessel this time. Now we are told this image has been magnified by 20 times. The question asks us to find out what is the actual diameter of the blood vessel in meters. So, measuring the image we get a measurement of 40 millimeters. I'm then going to convert that unit into meters because it's good practice. So 40 millimeters is 40 times 10 to the negative 3 meters. Now using the equation triangle, I need to cover the actual size, so the A, and this leaves me with I over M, so image size divided by magnification. So 40 times 10 to the negative 3 divided by 20, which is 2 times 10 to the negative 3 meters. This can also be written as 0.002 meters. If you are lost regarding unit conversions, then don't worry. Later on, there will be a video specializing in numeracy skills that you will need for your biology exam. In the next lesson, we will be covering specialized cells and describing the levels of organization within organisms.